Oh God, oh God! So we're trying to make a confidence interval for the variance. So, we need some stuff. What do you want our sample size to be? 40. 16, okay. I should have wrote my N on the left. Anyways, whatever. Um, so we took a sample and what was our sample variance? I just want to know. Just make something up. 2.5. Our sample variance was 2.5. S squared, 2.5. Where are you getting this up? Where are you getting this? Uh, this is number we made it up. Okay. So, what confidence level do you want? 99. 95%? 97. 95%. So what do we need? All we need now is plug stuff in. Wait, what? What do you mean? I mean, what's my chi right for 95% confidence and is 16? Didn't we do that in the last video? Yes, we just did it. Look up the video on finding chi values. What was that one? 27.4. 27.4888. Wait, okay. And then... Stop, back it up. Stop. Chi left. What was that? Where are we getting these? We're getting these from our table. And we just did that. If this ever hits the internet, maybe I'll remember to put a link. 6.262. 6.262. Oh, now what did we do? Plug it in, plug it in. N minus 1 is 15. Where are you getting that? I'm taking this and I'm sticking it right there. You don't need to use the SAS. Whatever. And then 2.5. Where's that? That's from number we made it up. And then Kai, right? That's 27.5. 488, wait, wait, great, great, that's smaller than the variance, and the variance is going to be smaller than 15 times 2.5, yes. If your S squared was 2.5, why are you squaring it again? What do you mean? Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shoot, I did that. Right, that one doesn't have the square on it because we did have the sample variance. Thank you. And then that's all over 6.262. Oh. So what do I get on the left? Um, 1.364. 1.364. And then that's smaller than the standard deviation, which is smaller than 5.5. Eight, nine. So now we have a confidence interval on the variance. Okay, I should stop there. I could stop. I should stop there. Box and flower. Last number nine. 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 Okay. But I have a tendency to take it too far. So yeah, here's the line. Let's go over it. Psh. Yeah, I'm about to cross the line because I want to find the. Confidence interval for the variance. How you gonna go and do that, huh, huh? Square root. We're gonna take the square root. So what's the square root of that left side? <laughs> oh, hold up. So now you're doing for standard deviation. Now I'm doing standard deviation. I just had the variance. So yeah, we take the square root of each side. Um, 1.168. And then on the right? Mm -hmm. Oh, 90. 2.447 Boom! And then there, we took it a step further and we made a confidence interval for the standard deviation also. Fox and wild flower. <laughs>